So today I am going to show you how we can easily add some polish to your Phaser 3 game by adding some simple scene transitions that use fade in and fade out effects. So these effects that you're seeing on the screen now are built into Phaser 3, and you can create these Phaser 3 uh, effects by using the Phaser 3 uh, camera. So the camera itself has a number of methods uh, that allow you to create some really cool effects, and two of these are the fade in and fade out that you're seeing here. And so you can find all the completed code for this example uh, in a link down in the description down below. All right, so to get started, there's going to be a link in the description of the video to a zip folder that has the starter code uh, for this example. Um, that link will be a direct download to the zip folder here. You can also find the code on GitHub. Uh, there'll be a link to this as well. Uh, so if you can go ahead and download that code and open it in your ID of choice. Uh, so the index.html is just our uh, basic uh, web page that uh, has the phaser 3 library and then it references a custom script called main.js. Uh, so if we hop over to there, um, this will just have a basic phaser 3 game configuration uh, with two scenes. Uh, so at the bottom of the file, uh, we just have a simple 800 by 600 phaser 3 game and then we reference these two scenes here. And right now they just render out two objects and they have an event listener. If you press the space key, it'll transition to the other scene and then you can toggle back and forth. Uh, so if you go ahead and run this on a web server of your choice, I'm using the live server extension that's available for VS Code. Uh, so once you have the code running, uh, we'll go ahead and open that code over in our browser. And what you should see here is your Phaser 3 game. We should see a rectangle. If you press the space bar, we'll see a green circle here. All right, so to go ahead and create our first uh, fade out effect, what we'll do is we'll come to our scene one class and in our create method, we're going to go into this callback function here for when we press the space key. So to create our camera effect, what we need to do is reference the camera game object that we want to uh, apply this effect to. So by default in phaser, um, all scenes will at least have one camera and typically this will be the main camera that's created uh, for your scene. So to access this game object, uh, the first thing we need to do is access our uh, camera manager. And so we can do this by doing this.cameras. Uh, so we're referencing the phaser scene object we're then referencing the camera's property on this to get access to our camera manager. And from there, we can call the uh, main camera and get a reference to it by calling dot main. Once we have a reference to our camera, we can then use our built-in methods to go ahead and create some of these effects. So the one we're looking for is fade out. And this method allows us to specify some configuration options for our fade out effect. Uh, by default, all of these are optional. And if you don't provide them, we'll get a very simple bare bones effect. Uh, there'll be a, it'll fade out to black uh, and it'll last for one second. So if we go ahead and save and let's just come out this line of code here so we don't transition to our next scene. If we hit the space key, we see we get this very nice transition uh, without having to provide these configuration options. And so um, if you did want to modify it, the first thing you can specify is a duration. So this is how long that fade out effect will last for. And then you can specify your RGB values. And so these are your red, green, and blue uh, color values. So this is going to affect the overall color that we're going to fade to. Um, so if I want to do a red, I could do 25500. If we go ahead and save, what should happen is now we fade to the color red. And so the last thing we can specify is a callback. And so this callback function, what's gonna happen is every frame of this effect, we're going to invoke this callback and we're gonna get a reference to the camera that this is applied to and an overall progress value from zero to one of how far along we are in this uh, animation sequence. So if I just do camera and then I go ahead and do progress for my arguments, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna council log progress. And what should happen now is we should see every frame of this effect. We're then logging a message to our council with the overall value. And so with this callback, this is one of the ways that we can now transition to our next scene. So we can start our next scene once our progress is fully completed. So what we can do is if we just add an if statement, we're going to do if our progress is equal to one, then we want to go ahead and start the next scene and leave uh, scene one. So I'm just gonna remove this line of code here 
And now if we go ahead and play our scene. You'll see once we get to value one, we immediately start scene two and now we can see our green circle. And that's it. So with that, we have a very uh, nice uh, fade out effect uh, with uh, very little code by using the built in methods that are available to us in phaser. Um, so the other side of this is when the scene starts, we can apply a nice fade in effect. So then that way it's not an abrupt transition. So you'll see when this completes, it's like, boop, it just pops. And so to get that fade in effect, we can do a very similar method here, uh, just reference a different method to get that effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this code here and I'm gonna come into our scene to create method and in our callback of when we hit the space key, instead of doing fade out, we're gonna do fade in. And so fade in uh, expects the exact same properties. Uh, so um, we will basically fade in and then we can specify our duration and then our red, green, and green, red, green, and blue values. Um, so we'll go ahead and fade uh, towards that given color value. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove our callback here. And then I'm just gonna comment out this code here. And so now what should happen is we should finish our scene. Oh, actually what we wanna do is for our fade in effect, we don't want that in our callback here. For the space key, we want that outside because we wanna register that event and we wanna start it as soon as the scene starts. So there we go. So now we get this nice smooth transition from one scene to the next where we fade out and then into the next scene. So in addition to uh, using the callback function to know when our transition is complete, we can actually hook into the event system um, that's exposed in Phaser 3. So out of the box, Phaser 3 has a number of events that'll be emitted when certain things happen. And so we can listen for an event for when our camera transition is complete. And it gives us another mechanism to provide that callback uh, functionality. Uh, so to see an example of that, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this block of code from our scene one method. We're going to paste that here inside our create method for scene two. And we're going to go ahead and remove this code here. And instead of having our callback here for our uh, scene, uh, instead of having this callback here for our fade out effect, what we're going to do is we're going to remove that callback and we'll go ahead and save. And what should happen now is on our scene two, when we hit the space key, we're going to fade out, but we don't transition to the next scene because we remove that callback. And so now to use the events, what we need to do is register the event and a callback that we want to run when this event fires. And so to do that, we're going to come right below that code here and we're going to do this.cameras. So we're going to reference our cameras manager again. We're going to reference our main camera and then we're going to call the once method. And what the once method does, it allows us to specify an event and provide a one-time listener for that event. So once this event fires, we're only going to invoke this callback one time uh, versus the on method where we invoke it multiple times. So in our once method, we need to specify the name of our event. So we're going to do phaser, we're going to do cameras, and then we're going to do scene 2D, and then we're going to do our events. And now we want the fade out complete event. So when the fade out complete event is fired for our main camera and this callback, this is when we'll go ahead and transition to our next scene. So if we do this.scene.start and if we do our scene1.name, we go ahead and save. We should see we fade out, fade in, we hit the space key, fade out, and then jump because we don't have that fade in effect on our first scene. So I hope you enjoyed this content. If there's more Phaser 3 content or questions that you would like to see covered, uh, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. Um, as a reminder, uh, there is a link to the completed source code in the description of this video. If you did like this video, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. If you're interested in more great Phaser 3 content, be sure to check out some of the videos that are showing on your screen now.